So I am on my way right now to our, kind of our last support group meeting um, for our group. We used to meet once a month um, on the first Friday of the month at a restaurant and then um, over time our group just kind of got smaller and actually our group got bigger but um, less people were coming um, every month and so it's made reserving this um, big table at the restaurant kind of difficult and so we haven't been meeting there but three of our um, kind of our founding three of our founding families of this um, support group are moving out of state and so we are going to go and do one last big uh, support group meeting there tonight so it is bittersweet you know it's so hard for me because I am so not good with change I even though I change things up a lot, like obviously my hair, um, but like when it comes to big, big things like this, it's so hard. And I mean, we moved an hour away, and so we haven't been. Um, we ha I haven't been going as often to our meetings, but it's different when it's other people that are doing the change because it's like, no, you can't move away. It's so hard. It's just, it's really, 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 really super hard. But it's a good move for all three of um, my friends. It sounds like I'm choking up, and I'm really not choking up. My voice is just cracking. I don't know why. Um, anyways, it's a good thing. It's a good um, change for them. All three of them are moving to three different states for three different reasons. But it's it's a good thing. And... I wish we could join them. I really wish we could move out of state because, well, it's like a whole other vlog. But anyways, so that's where I'm going right now. And the traffic is just really, really awful um, right now. And so I just thought I would do an, like a mini update too as far as uh, Noah. Um, we He did not get into this... Um, placement that we were hoping to put him into this special home that would help him with life skills and give him more um, consistency and stability. Um, he, they would not accept him due to liability reasons. So they, um, the regional center, which is like the center in our state that does like develop, works with developmentally disabled people um, and offers them services and things. They are. Uh, looking right now statewide for a placement for him, but um, It's very complicated because there's all of these funding sources and funding issues um, And everything kind of overlaps and so right now we are waiting to um, To see if we can get a, an extension from the current funding source So it gives the regional center more time to try to locate a placement but we're not sure if that can happen. And if it doesn't happen, then worst case scenario is that they would send Noah home, um, which would be, it could be really disastrous for him um, and for us. And so we are, uh, we're just really trying to figure out what would be the best thing to do as far as all of that's concerned. So, um, we're working on that, and then, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. He had his first home visit in, um, like two months. He came home this past weekend, and that was challenging, but overall was positive. So, we're hoping that, um, we can have another positive visit this weekend. So, Anyways, do you guys like my hair? It's my extensions that I put in. My hair is like maybe a quarter inch thick, <laughs> or not thick, quarter inch long, half an inch long maybe. Um, but I was able to put the, their clip-in extensions, I was able to put them in and then put my hat on so you can't see the top because it looks pretty crazy on top. 
but you can't really tell with a hat on, and I like having long hair sometimes, it's fun. So, anyways, I need to do a tutorial on uh, hair extensions, I've tried so many different kinds, and um, I feel like I could probably write a book on hair extensions from all of the different uh, methods that I've tried. These are just clip-ins, um, but I've done tape-ins, I've done microbeads, um, I have done the fusion, the hot fusion, and um, yeah, I think that's it. So, but these are good because they're just really temporary and I can just stick them in really quick. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I, uh, I think that's it. I'm probably just rambling at this point, but I, let me know in the comments if you want, um, a, me to do a tutorial on the hair extensions and talk more in depth about them. I can do that. Um, and how to like take care of them and all of that stuff. They're human hair. These are actual human hair extensions. They're not synthetic and they were not expensive at all. They were like $25 at the beauty supply store. Um, so it's really, really, really super cheap and affordable. So anyways, all right guys, um, I'm going to go, but I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.